work to the cloud and I'll figure out my computer thing later. Okay. Make sure I'm sharing computer sound. Okay. So science safety. Science safety is vital in science class. Um, you got to follow the rules and make sure that you are being safe when we're in the actual lab. Safety first. It's normally a hands-on laboratory class. You would be doing many laboratory activities. Um, they would require the use of hazardous chemicals, expensive lab equipment. Um, it's the number one priority in class. The safety rules have to be, must be followed at all times. Um, like I said, normally we sign a lab safety contract. You and your parents sign it so that if something happens and you aren't following the rules, I'm not held liable. <laughs> I mean, that's why we have a whole contract about it because there are things, glass breaks, chemical spill, um, we use hot plates, things like that when we're normally in the science lab. Again, if I am talking and you have a question, please type it out to me and I will try to answer as we go. So here's some general safety guidelines for you guys. You just got to be responsible at all times. No horse play, practical jokes, or pranks. Follow all instructions carefully. Don't play with the lab equipment until you're instructed to do so. Food, drink, and gum are not allowed in the science classroom. So when we're normally in lab, what I tell my students is if you break any of these rules, so for instance, if you start playing with the stuff and you start messing with the lab equipment before I tell you to, because a lot of times the stuff will be out on the tables and um, before the lesson starts, because I'm just, I, I pre-prepped it. But if you start messing with it and playing with it before I give you instructions to do so, you become what I call a spectator. Spectators do not participate in the lab. They sit off to the side and watch the lab. So that's kind of my way of holding you guys accountable for following the rules um, when we're normally in class. And it works pretty good because, I mean, you guys don't want to be stuck not doing the lab, right? I mean, that wouldn't be any fun. So usually my kids that don't listen wind up getting made an example out of. I had several last year that halfway through the year, we had already been practicing these rules, decided to come in and play with the stuff on the table, even though it wasn't like dangerous stuff, it still doesn't matter. If it's on the table for the lab, it's still considered lab equipment. So one, one lab I had rocks out and um, I had a kid go up and start playing with the rocks and tossing them around. And I was like, look, they may not be dangerous, but you still have the rule of not touching my stuff before I tell you to. So go sit over there and you can watch the lab now. You are now a spectator. So that sucked for that kid. But <laughs> like I said, you just, if you don't follow the rules, you become a spectator. And normally that's what I do. Clearly we're not gonna be using that stuff right now. So it's not a huge concern, but it is something that if we go back to normal, you would need to know in the future, okay? General safety guidelines. We keep the science room clean and organized. Now my desk and the bookshelf aren't that organized, okay? But your table area where you do your experiments at, you gotta keep pretty organized and cleaned off because we, we do a lot of stuff on them. Um, notify teacher immediately of any accidents or unsafe conditions in the science classroom. So for instance, last year I had a kid break a beaker and it was a glass beaker. The kid went to instantly start to pick up the glass with his hands. Okay, maybe he wouldn't have cut himself, but I'm not taking any chances. So if something happens like that and you break something, don't, do not touch it. Yeah. You come tell the teacher immediately so that I can come help you clean it up. That's a safety issue. Um, we got to wash our hands with soap and water after our experiments. Normally, we don't do a whole lot of experiments that require us to wash our hands with soap and water. Um, when you go back to school, you're going to be washing your hands a lot anyways. <laughs> Unfortunately, um, you're going to be using a lot of sanitizer. And my room doesn't really have a sink. It has this weird portable sink that has two giant jugs underneath it. So what you do is you put clean water in one and there's like a hose that runs the clean water up through the sink and then it flushes out. But if you don't clean the water out every single day and these jugs are giant and they're huge, okay? If you don't clean them out every day, it starts to stink. So I just don't use it. <laughs> it's so annoying. But if we do something that requires you to get your hands dirty, I usually allow my students to go to the restroom and wash their hands like one at a time. So it's not a huge deal. Um, we always have hand sanitizer in the class for, for things like that too. So, but most of the time when you're in a science 
lab, you're going to have a sink <laughs> that actually works. So yeah, that's fun and exciting. If we go into my room, eventually you'll get to see that portable sink. It's pretty awful. I've been fighting to get an actual sink installed, but you have to have like the plumbing and all that set up. So I don't know if that'll ever happen. Safety symbols. So a lot of these symbols um, will be on different equipment in the room. And you might see these on exams and tests. And they basically are what they say they are. So the goggle one is eye protection, where your goggles, when working with chemicals, flames, or heating devices, if chemicals get in your eyes, flush in water for five minutes, 15 minutes, and notify the teacher. We might also wear goggles if we're dealing with sand, because if sand gets in your eyes, it's kind of annoying. Um, most of the labs we do don't require goggles. There are a few, and I have a goggle station in my room. Um, a lot of times I'll tell you if you have glasses on and they are um, polycarbonate lenses, which most of the time kids' glasses are, you don't have to put on the goggles, only if you want to, because it's hard to wear those goggles over your glasses. However, if a test comes along and asks you about wearing goggles, you always just the answer is always wear goggles okay when i was in college i didn't have to wear goggles because i had protect I, my glasses are protective lenses so um sharp objects we won't use a whole lot of sharp objects but whenever you do just make sure they're um, facing down um cut away from your body electrical safety we do have plugs in the classroom and quite often we are using them um for different especially when we do the energy transformation we have to plug in like a hair dryer and um, some other a fan and some other things. Just be careful with the cords. Don't place them where you can trip on them if you're charging. And, and when we go back, if you have to charge your um, Chromebook, same thing at home. If you're charging your Chromebook, make sure it's somewhere where you're not gonna trip over it, right? And just don't use any water around it. Make sure that um, you unplug the equipment when you leave the room. Animal safety. I did have a hamster. I had a student take it home and just kind of kept it because we've never been back to school. Um, I will probably get another hamster if we ever go back to normal. So um, you only handle it with my permission and you treat them humanely and make sure we are sanitizing our hands afterwards. Okay. I mean, they're not, hamsters aren't really dirty creatures, but it's just a general good habit if you're handling a strange animal to use sanitizer on your hands afterwards or wash your hands. Um, heating safety. The only thing we really use is a hot plate, and I usually do it as an example, but if you were ever to use a hot plate, you have to make sure your hair is back. And I ask that my girls put their hair back in science lab anyways, because you don't want your hair to be getting in nasty chemicals or God only knows what while you're working, okay? So if you have long hair, just bring a hair tie for science class. Like, it's just a good rule of thumb. You trust me. I have seen stuff get in kids' hair in science and it is not pretty, okay? Um, never look into a container as you're heating it, so don't put your face over it because it gets the, the steam can burn your face. Um, heated metal and glass looks cool, but we always need to wear like, I have these like hot plate gloves or pot holders that we use, and never leave it unattended. So if you're in charge of dealing with the heat, you don't ever, ever, ever leave it because it could catch something on fire. Um, Another safety symbol, there's chemical safety symbols. We will be dealing with chemicals. Well, we won't per se, maybe not this year, but eventually you'll be dealing with chemicals like in um, seventh and eighth grade too. Don't ever touch, taste, or smell. It says chemicals on here, but really for me, don't touch, taste, or smell anything in the lab, period. Even if we're dealing with like starbursts for a lab, because guess what? Those starbursts are probably two or three years old. I'm just saying. I don't use them all when I do each year. I usually just save them and use them the next year. And I tell kids, don't eat them because you're probably eating two or, two or three year old candy that's probably going to make you sick. <laughs> so don't smell, taste, or eat anything in the science lab. Please, 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 please. It's just a good safety rule. Okay? Okay. Um, and especially chemicals because some chemicals can make you pass out. We waft, if you know what wafting is. You wave your hand at your nose, yeah. Um, hand safety, if anything spills on you, notify me immediately so that we can get it off. Um, when you're carrying glassware, do it carefully. I have had, I've broken a beaker before. It happens sometimes, but I'd rather not. Those beakers, guys, they're like $100 a piece, the glass ones. 
they're expensive. So if you're dealing with anything, I usually do plastic, but sometimes we have to have glass depending on the chemical. So um, just make sure you handle the glass with care. I'm not gonna say that I haven't broken a beaker because I have, but I'd rather not break 50 million beakers a day, okay? Um, don't eat any plants in the lab. I don't have plants in my lab, but yeah, don't eat plants in the lab. Um, safety equipment. So when we go back to class, if you get to see my room, you'll see there's a fire blanket. It's actually located um, on top of my filing cabinet and I'll grab it if we need it. I've never had a fire in my class, knock on wood. You never know. Um, there is a fire extinguisher and I'll, I'd show you where that was if we were in the room. Um, just think of path if you ever have to use it. I should be the one using it, but if an emergency happens and I'm on fire, um, just think of the word pass. Pull the pin, aim the hose, squeeze the handle, and sweep the hose back and forth, okay? And if you're ever on fire, just remember stop, drop, and roll. Stop, drop, and roll. Hopefully we're outside. All right. Now here's an activity. I want you to look at this image and tell me what's wrong with this picture. Look very carefully. Look very, very carefully at the image and think about all the things. I know I went pretty quickly, but use your common sense and think about what's wrong with that picture, okay? I'm gonna set a three minute timer and see what kind of answers we got. Saying, yeah, there's a lot wrong with this picture. <laughs> Y'all, there is so much wrong with this picture. There's at least two or three things I see, but I'm not asking you to name everything. Just give me like one thing you notice, okay? Just make sure you at least give me one thing that you notice that's wrong with it. But yeah, this guy. This guy, <laughs> this picture is terrible. So much wrong with this picture. Alexa, are you having an issue? Uh, Jade, Jade, you mean, type it. If you got a question, type it in the box. Type it in chat and Zoom. I can't have y'all's mics on while I'm recording. Where's Alexa? Why am I not seeing her? Oh, there you are. Are you able to type, Alexa? Thumbs up? Okay. And you may have submitted the answer and it's just not showing up on my end. It does that sometimes. Um, there shouldn't be a code. You need to go through Schoology. Not Nearpod. You need to go through Schoology. Um, I'll type it to you. I don't, I shouldn't have to give you the code if you go through Schoology and you go through your login with Schoology and you go to court, my class and you go to quarter one, week two, day two, and then click on the Nearpod. It should just start working. You should not be going through Nearpod to do this. You should be going through Schoology. All right, there is my timer. I'm gonna restart. All right, yeah, guys, this picture, let me show it to you. He's not wearing his goggles and it looks like he's dealing with chemicals and there's water coming off of the plug, like dripping off the plug <laughs> and he's about to plug it in. Okay. It looks like there's a crack in the glass there. Um, yeah, so much wrong with this picture. 
Look at that glass jar on the edge of the counter, too. Like, so much wrong with this picture. It's not even funny. Okay, next one. Another image. Look at the image and tell me what's wrong with it. There are several things wrong with this picture. Whoa. Wow. Oh. Oh, and the knife. Yeah, I must have missed the knife. I'll have to go back and look at that image again and see. Um, I'm starting, I am restarting my timer for three minutes to give you guys a chance to look at the image. Oh, my doggy is laying right behind me again. You are going to get stepped on. You are going to get stepped on. You are going to get stepped on. She likes to lay right behind me, and she gets mad when my when I step on her. She's crazy. Do 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 do. Oh my God! I have to take something with me. Oh, so I realized I shouldn't be showing you guys answers either on the recording because it's a privacy deal unless we were sharing our answers with each other so I'm just going to keep the photo up until my timer goes off and then I'll talk about it One minute. All right. Okay. So much wrong with this picture, too. First things first, they are not wearing any safety equipment, no goggles, no nothing. It looks like they're dealing with chemicals. So, yeah, not smart. And, I mean, yeah, he's using tongs for that heated thing, but he might should be wearing gloves, too. Jaderman, I'm not sure why it's doing that to you. You should just be able to click click on the assignment in Schoology and it opens like it you just plays inside of Schoology. Uh, thumbs up if it's just playing inside of Schoology for you. Guys, is it just playing inside of Schoology for you? Yeah, because Jaderman, I don't have any code for this. It doesn't produce a code when I do it through Schoology. You usually just click on it and you leave you don't exit Schoology, it just plays inside of Schoology. When you click on the assignment, you just leave it there and it should play inside of Schoology. Um, all right, next picture. I'm also recording it too, so if you wanna just watch my screen, 
you could do that. All right. Um, oh yeah, another one. What's wrong with this image? Oh yeah, that girl had her hair down. That's a good point, Elizabeth. She did have her hair down. She needed to put her hair up. And she was working around a fire? Okay. <laughs> You're going to catch your hair on fire. All right, three minutes. What's wrong with this image? Oh, God. A lot is wrong with this image, too. <laughs> These people do not know how to act in a science lab. Do not. Like, legit. What's wrong with these people? Something seriously wrong with these people. Yeah, so Jademan, I'm not sure without seeing your thing. So normally what I do is I go to my portal I click on Schoology, then I click on the course, then I click on um, the quarter, then I click on the week, which is week two. Make sure you're in the right week, week two, and then make sure you're in the right day, day two. Because sometimes if you're in the wrong day, it won't open it because it's not live. So make sure you're in week two, quarter one, week two, day two. Let me type it in the everyone chat. And there is one assignment that says do now. That's not the one we're doing. That one will try to open up a video. Um, we're doing the one that says Nearpod next to it. Quarter one, week two, day two. So Portal, Schoology, my course, quarter one, week two, day two, Nearpod. Hopefully it'll start working for you. If not, I am recording this. I'm gonna go ahead and stop my timer. Um, I'm gonna set it to two minutes because we're gonna run out of time if we don't. Um, from now on, I'll do two minutes because three minutes seems like a while. All right, a lot wrong with this picture. First of all, the kid's laying his face over and just sticking his nose in the chemicals. Okay, you gonna pass out, but sure. Um, <laughs> and then the one guy with the plug, I don't even know. He's not even plugging it in right. He's just like holding it by the cord instead of the thing. And then there's like soda cans they're eating in the lab. That's intelligent. Um, you're not supposed to do that either. Uh, they do have their safety equipment on. Okay, that's that's a step up, I guess. Um, <laughs> so yeah, lots wrong with that picture. Um, okay, what do we do in an emergency? Same thing we do in any classroom. If there's a fire, we quietly get up, push in our chair, walk toward the outside of the classroom door. It says walk to the basketball court because this was somebody else's um, slides. But I'm sure we'll eventually practice fire drills in the building and um, your exit path is different depending on what room you're in. So you just listen to your teacher and where they tell you to go, okay? Um, remain silent through the alarm so we can hear directions. Everyone is responsible. Are there any questions about lab safety? You can type them out to me. Um, we walk for the fire, Pedro, because um, think about it this way. You have a building full of students. Okay, let me stop recording real quick. Um, stop recording.